Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you all to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, I welcome you and to all my existing subscribers, thank you so much for all your love and your continued support. It means a lot to me. I truly appreciate each one of you. So I know many of you ask me to make these number sequences and what they mean and if I can shed some light on it. So today in this video, I'm bringing forth a short message. Hopefully it's a short message. We'll see what the spirit <laughs> is asking for me to share with you um, on a number sequence that has been actually playing out a lot in my life over the last couple of months. And the number sequence is one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one. And this is I'm recording at about the end of the Thanksgiving. So it's almost end of November. And I wanted this up and about before December 21st which would be one, two, two, one. Okay. So first things first, when you are beginning to see number patterns or number sequences that are catching your attention, it is a way of our spirit getting us to pay attention to the here and now. What is taking place in the here and now? Okay. That's the number one message. Whatever number pattern you're seeing, Irrespective of that, the first message that any sort of a numbering that kind of gets feels like, oh my gosh, anywhere I'm turning, that's all I'm seeing. Whether you're seeing this number, or you're seeing another, you're seeing a shift in all of them. First things first, the spirit, you are in touch with your inner self at that moment and you're taking notice of what is actually taking place. And the first things that we generally tend to see would be a interesting string of numbers okay so that's the first message for all number sequences if you're going to see something in repeating numbers like 666 777 you know just any kind of different combinations of it now coming specifically to if you're beginning to see or you have been seeing or this is just something that's just guiding you towards something that guided you towards this video to click on this and to know a little bit more Whatever that was, there was an inner prompting. There was an inner guidance. You acted on impulse. Some, sometimes, and this is what I'm speaking with my experience, was, oh, I just clicked this video by accident. Oh, well, there was no such thing as accident, honey. There really never was an accident. It was meant to, you're guided to go to that place. But our mind thought it was an accident. I wasn't even looking for this. Why am I giving you this type of a conversation is to know that your intuition is kicking into high gear. It is kicking into high gear. And what do I mean by intuition? It's that inner knowing. You just know. You just get this gut feeling. You have a, you have a feeling which bypasses your mind, which bypasses what you can logically see and make sense. Right? Because our mind our mind and our thinking patterns and our belief systems, our mental body really is based on where we have grown up, what we have learned, what we have experienced. We start storing all of those patterns in our mind and we operate out of that mindset. Okay, I'm talking a lot about the mind because it's very important for us to understand the power that our mind has. Now, one, two, two, one. What do you notice with that? I'm going to say one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. If you put them together, it is like a mirroring. It is like a mirroring. So when you are seeing the one, two, one, two, sorry, one, two, two, one. Okay, I'm doing one, two, two, one. Archana, correction. When you are seeing that number, Start to see what is taking place in your life right at that time. Your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, who are the people who are around you? Were you in the middle of a project? What is it that is taking place in your life when you are seeing that 1221? That's the second part. First is your intuition is into high gear. Second is pay attention to what is taking place in your life at that moment in time. Now, let's begin with the number one and two. You need to understand the first 
what that energy is. There's a vibration and an energy that each of the numbers carry. Well, everything, every thought, every emotion has its own unique vibration and its own unique frequency. Now, one is, let's start with, actually, before we begin with the one, I want us to begin with the God source, the number zero, the universality, where everything and nothing, so all and nothing, right? So this whole divine source, the divine being, God source, from that, from that God source, each one of us has come to earth here and now as individualized versions, as individualized people, souls, whatever you may want to call, whatever you believe in, right? So it's individualized. Archana is different than you or this person or that person. I have my own individual belief systems, what I look like, what I feel like, what my desires are, what I wish to bring forth into the world, as are you. So when I'm talking about, why am I talking about individualization here? Because it's important for us to understand that yes, each one of us is made very different. We have a very unique soul pattern and a soul signature. Out of billions and billions and billions of these permutation combinations, you came about. You. No replication of the DNA here. None. What you can bring about is only you. I can't do that. We can all become similar. We can do similar things, right? But can it be exactly the same thing as what you have? No. And that's why the unique number one is very important to understand that each one of us has our own unique pattern, our unique thoughts, our unique ideas that only I can bring about. Now let's talk about the number two. Two is, there's Archana and there's another person, right? There's Archana, there's another person. Different. Different ways of thinking, different ways of speaking, different culturally, different ideas. So it, the number two now talks about harmony and partnerships. Harmony and partnerships. Just the way I am an individualized so God source here on earth expressing my uniqueness as are you, as is C, as is D, as is E, as is all the billions of people on the planet right now. Every soul individualized version of the God source, of the divine source. So each one of us is divinity here in the physical form. It's very important for us to understand the ones and the twos, ones and the twos. Because everything builds on this. Everything builds on this. So I'm really highlighting this right now. Now look at this hand, right? Look at any other hand. Right? We have different fingers. But they're all together as one. Together. Together. Different. But coming together as a whole. So similarly, each one of us is individualized versions. Twos are the energy of partnership. Two is also the energy of bringing two different opinions, two different thinking patterns in harmony and balance without judgment, without saying, oh, what is this? What is this nonsense that you're doing? This is the only way. This is the only thing to do it. No, you are one individualized version of the God source as is the other person. Now, that's why we talk about bringing things in harmony without judgment. Without judgment. Without judging. So, that's an important concept first to understand. It's basic, but it's the one that will carry you forward in life. No matter what you do, whether you never listen to me again or you listen to so many different people, if you can get this part in your heart. See, I know of this intellectually, but even bringing it down into reality is a challenge for me now, even as I speak with you. 
it is quite challenging to get a different opinion when I have a certain strong belief about something. That means I need to accept every person as the divine being, as their divine expression. And the more we can allow and harmonize differences, that all these differences are part of one and we are collectively trying to create something with these differences. Okay. So I've talked enough about the one, two. And I talked about looking at other people as the mirror images. So when you're seeing the one, two, two, one, and look around, who's around you? Are you being triggered by some people? Are people saying something which makes you angry or which makes you completely go in one direction? So it's giving you a chance and an opportunity to bring and see another perspective. You don't have to agree with that perspective. That's their perspective. But where can you bring compassion without judgment and allow the integration and allow this place to have the different flowers, different life forms? Look at Earth. Earth supports so many different life forms, does it not? I mean, Mother Earth has so many different life forms that it's supporting. So we as human beings also have to understand this aspect and integrate that part. That yes, being unique and different is great because we're all part of the one expression, one God source. I want to now touch upon another concept with the one and two. One is a very masculine energy and two is a feminine energy. Masculine energy and feminine energy exists in every individual, every individual. Ones are about taking the lead, taking action and an outward expression. And two says the feminine energy is that of receiving the guidance and of receptivity, action and receptivity. One can't live without the other. Okay? So it's not that one is more powerful than the two and two or two is more powerful than the one. There is, an, is a dance. It's a dance of the one and the two. One and the two. Sometimes you're taking action and sometimes you are receiving the guidance and you're working in tandem then to take the action. Okay? I also want to talk about that ones are about power. One is about power while two is about receptivity. So if you're seeing the one, two, two, one, also notice what your feelings and what is really transpiring in your, wor in your world with the energy of power. Are you feeling powerless in your life? Are you feeling that you are being overly aggressive? Okay, overly aggressive is overusing your willpower to control another. And remember, we talked about first, is allowing the individualization. So there's no right or wrong. There's not a judgment if you've been overly aggressive or you've been powerless and feeling like you are a doormat. Either of the two energies we have to go through, we have to understand how to bring things in balance. If you've never felt powerless, how are you going to know what true power is? If you have been overexerting, you're not going to know what true balance is, right? So both energies are helping one and one, each other to bring that in balance. So have a look at how power is playing out in your life. Where are you feeling that you need to fight for everything? Where do you are feeling that you're being disrespective? Okay, do people respect your ideas? Do people respect what you are doing for them? Or are people taking you for granted? This is part of the power dynamic and a power understanding that we are needing to learn and to integrate. So for those who have been feeling powerless or feeling disrespected or feeling as if you are not allowed, you're not allowed to speak up or stand up for what you believe in, the number 1221, as it's coming into, into play, into your conscious awareness right now, it's actually bringing about a shift in your consciousness where you are going to start to assert yourself. You're going to stand up for what you believe in, slow and steady. You'll take a step, you'll receive some guidance, the two, and then you'll move 
perhaps there will be certain times where they will feel like a stagnation, like nothing is taking place. That's where we come back and harness the one again. That's why it's a one, two, two, one. Right? Sometimes we get stuck in a certain pattern, like, you know what, peace is more important, and then people keep taking advantage of you, and then you're in that cyclical pattern. Right? And then you realize, like, okay, my life has been stuck for a long time. This is not what I wanted. So the 1221 is actually showing you that a person who you think is being overly aggressive or feels like they have all the power, it is because you are not honoring your power. You're going to need to speak up. You're going to need to confront. You're going to need to find that courage to face that fear. Which brings me to the first chakra, energy of one, is the root. What is at the root? What do you stand for? What do you believe in? Where do you draw that line and the boundary? It's important. It's important to understand that. So that's what this number is also bringing forth. Now let's get on to the energy of two, the sacral chakra. Two is, in Sanskrit, the second chakra is called Swadishtan. Swadishtan is the sweetness of life, the sweetness and the pleasures of life, the sacral chakra. A lot of blockages take place in that chakra due to guilt. So that goes back to the one. Do you feel guilty in exerting your power? Do you feel shameful when you are exerting your power and standing up for what you believe in? So this is a time for good clearing, to looking at what makes you feel good. So two is a second chakra, is our creative center. It is the birthing of the creativity within us. This primal life force energy that we have, that we are alive. We feel this primal life force energy through our creative center, through our creative center. And it is in strengthening and expression of this creativity is what is being asked with the energy of two. Expressing your creativity. Whether it is through movement, through art, through dance, through a business project, an idea, it is something that is very uniquely and created only by you. Only by you. So you're being asked when you begin to see the 1221 two, to explore your creative depths and allow for this energy to flow through you. Through you. And many times this energy gets stuck with guilt and extra responsibilities or what should be, what must be, how I should do it, the societal norms and all of that. And the one, two, two, one asks for you to break that mold, to break free from that conditioning and allow your own uniqueness to glow, grow and flourish, to grow and flourish. So it is time to strengthen that. So some of the, I, I mean, I'll do a video where I'll talk about how you strengthen each of these chakras. So it is time to leave the same old, same old all behind and follow your creative impulses and your creative dreams. Follow your dreams and your purpose. Allow for this sweetness in life to reemerge is that energy of two. So you look at it, one, two, two, one. And the two, two in the middle, okay? The two, two is the birthing of your heart's desire to build upon what your heart desires. If there's a desire that has been set in your heart, it is your soul's urge. It is your soul's calling. So follow your dreams, which will require faith which will require courage. That's where the energy of one comes in. So there'll be people and naysayers and, and power struggles and you can't do this and you won't be, are you sure? How are you going to make money? This is unstable. This is never done before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm unique. I'm going to do it this way. Does it mean that you're hurting and harming another? Is that what I'm saying? No. The one, two, two, one is seeking partnership, but also knowing where the give and take a balance is. It may mean 
that some people that you love or are around you will not see eye to eye. Again, when that happens, start to go back and say, we're all individualized soul expressions of God. So they're allowed to have that experience. And they're coming from a loving place because that's what they understand in their universe. This is what their understanding is. So they're coming from their place of understanding and giving you ideas or they're telling you don't do this. But that's the time to take courage, to take to have courage, to have that faith and go forth for your dreams. It would mean taking a few risks which you've never taken before. It would mean that there will be people that you love and you care for will disagree with you. Allow for that process. If it feels right, you know you're not harming anybody, you're bringing forth your heart's desire, which is what you've always wanted to do. Abundances, money, wealth, everything will follow. Because a creative expression is a divine birthright. You are expressing divinity through your own creative force. So strengthen that if you're beginning to see one, two, two, one. If you're feeling stagnated in the various, go dance, let's move. You know, I'll, I'll definitely do a video on sacral chakra and all the chakras actually. But the biggest message right now is follow your dreams. Follow your heart's calling because it is something that you're meant to birth and only you. And when I'm talking about birthing, I'm not talking to women as birthing. You're birthing a business idea, entrepreneurship, your legacy, your empire that you wanted to create. And you feel like this is what you're made for. This is what you're meant to experience. This is what you're meant to bring forth into the world. And it could be a building of a family. That's what you're meant to bring forth. One is the energy of divine power. Two is the energy of divine creativity. And together, you bring forth abundances for yourself and on the planet. So one, two, two, one is asking of you and reminding you and showing you that there is something that only you can bring forth into this world through your soul's energy. It's your divine creativity that is meant to be birthed. Only you can do that. So be fearless. Follow your dreams with courage, with love, and know that you're always supported. You're always supported. And this is your divine right and your divine gift. So I hope this video has served as a guide, as an inspiration for you to know and for you to perhaps release some of the fears and start to express more of who you are. Only you can do that. Only you can do that. <sighs> Thank you so very much. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance and be on the lookout. I will go live that's what I'm thinking I'm wanting to do on YouTube and bring forth a short meditation and a conversations after that on what is this energy bringing forth in our life. So I will talk to you soon. Much love. Mwah!